<laughs> my parents, yeah, that I can understand. But these people? Nickel is the eighth of Chinese food tonight. Oh, oh that's a lucky like chance. Oh, <laughs> he also said I can't drive no more. Oh, good. The world just got safer. <laughs> Listen, uh, I will give you the receipt for the uh, VCR, okay? Just take a seat right there. Uh, Kranz, I will discuss the driving with you further, okay? Nan, I will eat the sandwich. But first, I would just like to, you know, say what I came here to say. <gasps> He's getting married. Oh, how can he get married? He doesn't even have a girlfriend. I'm not getting married. Why not? <laughs> well, could we save that argument for the holidays? You know, when we always have it? What about Donna? No! <laughs> the subject of Donna is closed. I broke up with her two years ago. I thought she broke up with you. Well, she did. He was uh, dragging his uh, feet. Can we move on, please? Oh, but she had such pretty hair. <laughs> Nicholas, I was so sure you were getting engaged. Every time I went to a party, I take all the extra plastic knives and forks and save them for your wedding shower. <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, no, ma'am, let the answering machine get it. Oh, no, Nikki, that the machine is uh, broke. <coughs> I just got it for you. How did it break? Oh, he uh, threw it out. <laughs> Every time we pushed a button, someone was yelling at us. And that was people leaving messages. Nikki, I want to see you married before I'm dead. Okay, well tell me when you feel you're going, and I'll see who I can dig up. <laughs> Nicholas, it's your parents. Nicholas ate the Chinese food. <laughs> Nikki, why your parents moved to Florida? Oh, God only knows. They spend the first 56 years of their lives nice and close to their parents. Who raised them? And then boom, your father gets a sinus condition. They retire early. And they must afford Lauderdale. To live with a lot of old people who love humidity. <laughs> a friend, come say hello. Nikki, you're a good boy staying near your family. It's a long distance. Talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Your son said I can't drive no more. Come visit soon. We'll go sit in my car and pretend it's moving. <laughs> then your sister gets married and moves to San Diego. Who the hell moves to San Diego? Nah, Gramps, please. Nicholas, your mother said to call her after you tell us. She wants to know if we take it well. <laughs> well, we'll soon find out now, won't we? Now, if everyone would just, you know, take a seat, please, and let me say what I've come here to say. Aren't you going to sit? <laughs> no, I prefer doing this standing up. Like he's going to make a speech. <laughs> if he wants to make a speech, let him make a speech. I'm not making a speech. Well, before you start, though, who's hungry? I'm hungry. Announcement. You don't need to cater it. Oh, but I got such a nice crumb cake. Uh, with the big crumbs? From the AFP. Uh, I'm in. I just want a sliver, but a healthy sliver. I want the big piece. Don't announce anything yet, Nicholas. Man! Oh, Nicholas, before I forget, I got you a mask card. A mask card? But aren't these for sick people? Two Thursdays from now, at St. Anne's, a 7.30 mess will be said for you. Why? In the hopes you meet a girl to marry. <laughs> and the priest agreed to this? Hey, go to the mess. Maybe you'll uh, meet her there. <laughs> Nikki, if you go, whatever you do, don't talk to Father Vincenzo. Oh, again with Father Vincenzo. Hey, him and I had a big falling out 15 years ago. What about? I don't know. I just remember being right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God. Can I start now? Uh, wait. I feel a drift. You know, me too. What's open? It's 110. 
ten degrees in here. We're old, we're chilled. <laughs> oh, my Lord, I almost have forgot about it. Oh, good thing you got that, man. You almost let air seep into the room. Okay, now, does everybody have their crumb cake? Does everybody have their coffee? Is anybody disturbed by any unbearable drafts? Okay, got it. <laughs> Make me a copy, nuns. I will pay you for it. Can I please just say this now? What's he getting so upset about? Oh, he was always anxious. Remember how he used to chew on his rabbit? <laughs> uh, no, could we not tell the rattle story right now? Well, we're just trying to understand you better, Nicky. Oh, and the rattle story just sums it all up, doesn't it? I don't even know why I bother going to therapy. What? <laughs> nothing. Uh, I said nothing. He said he's going to therapy. What the hell is that? He's going to a psychiatrist. A foot doctor? <laughs> no, a head doctor. What? Nicholas, is this true? Oh, my God. Look, it's no big deal. All my friends are in therapy. It's just someone to talk to. What kind of friends do you have, Nikki? <laughs> nah, my friends don't have to Why can't you just talk to us? How? I can't even get this announcement out. <laughs> Wait. Do you, uh, pay this person, or does the insurance take care of it? Gramps, I really don't want to discuss this. I right. hope you don't pay this person. Because we listen to your problems if we're free. <laughs> and a priest would too. Should I go call a priest? Uh, she's always calling a priest. Shut up. I'm talking to my grandson. The other day, my back hurts. She's on the phone with the parish. <laughs> Nicholas, tell him you're off of your problems right now. I come out of the bathroom and Father Finelli's standing there ready to bless my spine. <laughs> Okay, I am seeing this therapist right now. Yes, that's true, but I won't be seeing him much longer. Oh, thank oh. God. And that kind of ties into my announcement. So can I tell you now? Please, tell us your announcement right now. We're all listening very hard. Okay. All right. Well, everyone quiet. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're ready. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. okay. Let me just say that I got offered a promotion at work. Oh, oh congratulations! What the kind of a promotion? A better management position, actually. Oh, tell, tell. Well, I would, but you don't really understand what it is I do now, so... Just because we don't understand it doesn't mean we don't want to hear about it. <laughs> okay, uh, well, as you know, I'm in marketing, which is kind of like commercials. But I don't actually make the commercials, I... Uh, Let's see, how should I say this? I help plan overall strategy and implement the strategies for the commercials and radio ads and various other forms of media, uh, you know, such as brochures, billboards, internal and external sales presentations. Well, with my new position, and this is exciting, I will be in charge of coordinating, implementing all of these strategies in a top 20 market. <laughs> well, whatever the hell it is you do, we're not damn proud of you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, the thing about the job, see, is <laughs> I have to move. Oh, out of the city, thank God. Oh, you can move out with that. <laughs> no rent, four meals a day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, the job, the job is in Seattle. Uh, where the hell is Seattle? <laughs> oh, I know, uh, Rosa Rinaldi has a beach house over there. Exit the 94 on the parkway. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, uh, further down the road by the big, uh, food town. No, no, stop, stop. I know where Seattle is. It's in a Washington, and not the close Washington, the far away Washington, <laughs> by California. All the way by California. Nicholas, isn't he right? The job is in Washington State, yes. Look, I just found out about this this morning. I mean, my head is still swimming. 
But it's a promotion, right? And now would be the time. I mean, I'm young, unattached. There's nothing keeping me here. Well, what about us? Well, except for you guys, of course, but... Vic. So, you, you're leaving, huh? Uh, moving, yes. Right. Leaving. Look, I talked to my parents about it. They thought it's a wonderful opportunity. I mean, I've spent my whole life here. I went to school here. I've never lived anywhere else. I never lived anywhere else. Look, I know this is a shock, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Why should this come as a shock? First, your parents move to Fort Lauderdale. Then your sister moves to San Diego, gets married, and has my great-grandson. Grants. My great-grandson. I have one great-grandson. He's three years old, and I've seen him exactly twice. Twice. Cramps, please. Ah, you don't know what it's like. I've lived long enough to have a great grandson, and he doesn't even know who I am. Doesn't even know why I am important to him. Last time we get off the plane, I stood there with my arms outstretched, and he runs away. I thought I was just another old person. Another old person wanting to annoy him with a hug. Nicholas, I don't understand. You're just going to go? Nan, as I said, they just told me about this job this morning. I wanted to tell you guys first, that's all. But your family's here, Nick. Look, it's getting late, and I have to get the next train to the city. Nicky. I have an 8 o'clock appointment tomorrow morning about this promotion. We'll see you on Sunday, Nicholas. Huh. If we're still alive, God willing. <laughs> Look, we'll discuss it more then, OK? It's really a wonderful opportunity. So, yeah. Oh, he forgot the sandwich. It's a 20-minute ride into the city. He'll live without the food either. See ya. Not to worry. He won't go. You heard what he said. He wants to move away. No, he didn't say he wants to move. He said he has no reason to stay. So? <laughs> I should tell him. I should tell him the doctors have done their test, and it is spread. I should tell him that if he takes this job in Seattle, when we say goodbye, it'll probably be the last time we see each other. No one knows yet, not even my Emma. I will tell her soon. But I should tell him, and then maybe he'd stay. say no to a promotion, another one probably will not come along. Now that morning my boss sat me down and said, this promotion means we have great faith in you, and we have something even bigger planned in your future. And as any young man can tell you, the lure of a new life is more seductive than any lover. And now that Sunday I returned to my grandparents, and I expected them to be laying on the guilt something fierce. <laughs> but oh no. They did something much worse. <laughs>